Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's session, the 5th of October 2016. Okay, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, or you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of uh, economic numbers for the day, your uh, FTSE certainly finishes negative. On the back of uh, Mr. Carney under pressure via Mr. Broadbent yesterday, Theresa May, and today Mr. Hammond. Everybody criticising the uh, the actual BOE's policy. And obviously, uh, we already know what's happening in in Germany in terms of the ECB's potential uh, negative rate policy again hurting banks' profitability and obviously causing concerns uh, in terms of the. Uh, the bad loan sector, okay, non MPLs, non performance loans. So, again, I think Miss uh, May is also concerned with concerned with regards to uh, a uh, an equitable uh, or a fair economic future, in the sense that she claims that uh, the the banks certainly have benefited to a large extent. Obviously, with regards to the bailout funds, and, and thereafter they've suffered. Okay, same with regards to individuals that own assets; they've certainly benefited. Mortgage owners have benefited, but whereas savers have suffered. So, i.e., I, the elder generation. So, again, this is a cause of concern, and uh, she certainly seems to uh, be slanting towards a socialist side, and again criticizing the uh, the BOE's potential negative rate or weak a low rate policy. And QE itself, um, we all know QE really hasn't worked. Uh, although it certainly gives you a temporary uh, boost, but long term it certainly is. Uh, it certainly isn't the case, uh, as we can see in in Japan. Okay, again QE certainly is failing there, and also we can see in the US as well to a large extent with the Fed still not raising rates. Okay. Uh, trying to wean themselves off the QE machine. So again, uh, or should we say stimulatory or a. Uh, Shall we say loose monetary policy? So, FTSE 100 certainly under pressure due to anti QE comments. The German DAX under pressure as well, which is very surprising, also along with the CAC. Uh, even though we had stronger factory orders today out of Germany, even though we had, I'll just bring up the chart of the German DAX for you as well. Even though we had stronger GDP growth for well, growth forecast certainly being uh, increased in Germany as well. Also, uh, talk of potential tax cuts. And then later in the session, there was a uh, the ECB minutes as well, certainly indicating nothing uh, with regards to or no reference with regards to tapering. No regard, uh, no 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 comments with regards to tapering. Yet still, the German DAX falls. And now, again, uh, the uh, fact that the German d uh, economy is now thinking about fiscal uh, support, okay, uh, again is certainly uh, causing concerns with regards to monetary policy and this tape potential taste of taper tantrum now. The taper tantrum article run or started from Bloomberg, uh, and certainly that should have sent the euro USD higher. Now I've stopped out my long euro USD positions due to that very reason. Due to that very reason, the fact that uh, I was going for the taper trade, given the fact that Bloomberg reported that again is a credible source, and we all know when uh, tapering occurs, the the currency certainly appreciates and therefore hurts the export market. And again, that's one of the reasons why I was looking to short the euro stocks and go long the euro. That certainly didn't transpire at all. Okay, out by euro stocks uh, logs now, and I've actually uh, uh, certainly shifted my bias towards the short side. Okay, so German DAX. Let's look at the German DAX here, folks. Okay, daily chart. German DAX. I was expecting the German DAX to break higher up to the uh, 10800. That hasn't transpired. Hence the reason why I've been forced to change my bias. Okay, so daily chart into diagonal trend line resistance. 60 minute chart. Let's just bring up the 60 minute chart for you of the uh, German DAX. Okay, so again, a potential double top scenario here. Okay, so horizontal resistance has held at 10,650. Uh, and you can clearly see there's a potential bear flag here. So there's consolidation really in this. Uh, in the, the the bearish candle green or should we say red candle on the 60 bit chart and you have this uh, bear flag formation so again potential retest down back, back below 10500 okay so certainly isn't uh, looking well for the german uh, uh, index at present okay let's move on to the uh, the french cac now let's have a look at the french cac and see where the french cac is positioned 
Okay, let's look at the daily chart of the French CAC. Okay, folks, again, failure to move higher, failure to move higher, or failure to certainly take the uh, bullish argument on the potential German tax cuts. Certainly has failed. Again, you have this bearish uh, potential pattern here. Okay, so again, a bearish finish towards the close and looking for a potential uh, move lower for a lower low. Okay, so French CAC certainly isn't uh, showing any signs of bullish price action. Okay, if anything, it's certainly showing you negative price action. You've went a lower high today and now looking for a lower low potential test of that 4450 and low. Okay, so French CAC certainly showing weakness as well, especially given the fact that the Euro USD now potentially coming into support on the daily chart again. So once we start to see a move higher on the euro, you are looking at a potential sell-off in European equities. So I was expecting this inverted head and shoulders part. It hasn't transpired. We're back into support now. So we all know when the euro USD is into support, then you are looking at a uh, potential risk off trade in European indices. Okay. So certainly keep that uh, keep that in mind. Okay. Let's move on to the FTSE 100 now. FTSE 100 again. Like I said, it's all about criticism of this potential QE. And uh, if the uh, the UK is now going into its anti-QE policy or adopting an anti-QE policy, that doesn't bode well for uh, the uh, actual indices or index or the actual index itself. OK, so you had the topping tail. The market's reversed ever since. OK, certainly has reversed ever since. Now, the conundrum that we have for the FTSE 100, let me allow me to explain. Number one, oil prices are into resistance. I go to the daily chart. You'll see that the daily chart now is into this potential horizontal resistance here. If I bring up the chart of Brent crude as well, you'll see that that is sort of certainly into resistance as well. Okay, I don't have a chart at the moment, but yes, yeah, so certainly oil is certainly into resistance or crude oil. Uh, Brent, I don't have the chart of Brent at present, okay. Uh, also now, if I look at the oil and gas sector for the FTSE 100, you'll see that that certainly is into uh, resistance as well. There we go. Okay, so if I just show you the daily chart, you can see that the daily chart putting doji candle today. Okay, so into resistance on the uh, price of uh, crude oil and gas sector. Okay. And the 10-minute chart, you can clearly see that you have this potential HNS formation. So, again, looking for this pattern to play out, which certainly is in motion at present. Okay, you got the right shoulder, then flush, and then down we go. Okay, so looking for this HNS to to play out and uh, obviously trigger and move lower. Okay, so certainly looking for weak price action on the uh, chart of oil and gas sector for the FTSE 100, and therefore looking to to move lower, folks. Okay. So oil and gas sector certainly is weak. Oil is into resistance, okay? So everything certainly is aligning as if to uh, to move to the lower side, okay? If I bring up the uh, mining sector for the FTSE 100. Okay, so weekly chart of the uh, mining sector, as you can see here, into resistance. Topping tail has been put in this, this, uh, so far this week, obviously with a stronger dollar. Daily chart, you can see a topping tail as well. So again, indicating resistance. And the 60-minute chart, you can clearly see there's a HNS formation after it's broken out of the uh, bullish channel. So everything is indicating move lower, especially for commodities. And that's uh, that's because we know that the US dollar index certainly has appreciated quite substantially. If you bring up the chart of uh, tech US, allow me to bring up the US dollar. Okay, so you can clearly certainly see the daily chart. The US dollar is uh, certainly pushing higher, certainly pushing higher. I mean, it could continue to do so. It can certainly continue to do so. Next level potentially could we go to one two nine point two? So certainly pushing higher. Okay, so dollar index pushing higher in the back of stronger US data today. Employment numbers certainly coming in stronger, thereby raising hopes. Or a strong NFP tomorrow, and therefore obviously cements the potential rate hike in uh, in November. Okay, so again, that certainly is a factor. Okay, folks, so bear that in mind. Also, FTSE 250 today was a fake out. The previous high failed to uh, hold as uh, potential support, and therefore looking already has moved below. So for the FTSE 100, if I go to the daily chart, you are looking at a potential retest of the 6940, 6950 breakout zone. 
Okay, 60 minute chart. Your last bastion of support is here at uh, six now, basically 7,000. If that cracks, then you are going down to 6,960 and 6,950. Okay, a potential retest of the breakout zone. Okay, folks, hope I've uh, clarified that to you with regards to the uh, European indices and obviously the insight from uh, the uh, dollar bond perspective as well. I can certainly give in terms of uh, the bond, certainly and the uh, 10 year as well but i think the video will be too long so be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the 10 percent bonus goodbye now or should i say 25 percent goodbye